is called the first argument. <laughs> Um, it's called Introduction to Computer Music, Music 281, and that's what it is, Introductory Survey. My, my job is to um, give these beginning students um, uh, a chance to look at all the different applications for computer music. <laughs> We do um, basic stuff, editing and sequencing and logic. Um, we do uh, interactive things um, using a software called Max MSP. Um, we do recording projects. We learn about microphone selection and microphone placement um, and how to record different ensembles. Our, one of our first composition assignments, I make them finger paint. I inform them at the very first day of classes, this is not a class in techno music. It's not a class in commercial music. Um, it's not a class in all the stuff that you know probably better than I know. Uh, it's a class in the people who have researched and developed the software and the equipment and the processes to make that music that you're listening to and that it's so easy for you now to create. Equipment is, is them. The equipment is their mind. Um, and it's, the computer is a tool. The computer is a fancy pencil. The, the work is about conception. One, two, one, two, three, four. Look around you. Because you can compose when you're walking around. You can compose when you're walking to class. You're thinking. You're thinking about what you want to do. And that's, you don't, you don't want to be at the computer to do that. You want to think freely, and you don't want the computer to, to guide you. You want to guide the computer. If you're going to use technology, you should really examine the transformative power of technology. Well, you and my other lover, Matt. Um, one of the consequences of digital music, is we have performer, and we have audience, and we have composer. Um, they all have these very specific roles in traditional music, and in computer language, those roles get mixed up. The audience members can become performers. The performers can become composers by making choices. So everybody's kind of mixed up, and we, we look at those relationships. I think that this is a major um, opportunity for William and Mary. We have just begun the idea of integrating technology across disciplines in the arts. We are in the infancy stages, and I would like it to go a lot further because there's tons of enthusiasm out there um, from the faculty and definitely from the students. I have an affidavit for you. Tonight at the grind. <laughs> <laughs> that is false. <laughs> that, that is false.